Hey, it's Lake Coleman, or some enemies Kid Guru. Today I'm going to show you how to get a YouTube video off YouTube. And, uh, it's pretty simple. I'm sorry about that. I was just touching out something, but, uh, okay. Uh, first you want to find your video. And I'll just, uh, I'll just use this as, a. Uh, or, yeah, I'll just use this. And, uh, okay. What I'm going to want to do is, I want to get the link. And you can use multiple, uh, there's lots of YouTube down video downloading sites. So one of the common ones is KeepVid that does Metacafe, all those other sites. But this one from TechCrunch is specifically from YouTube for YouTube videos. I'm just going to hit YouTube, get video. And if your prompting for active control or anything is off or disabled, then it's going to block it at first. So you're going to have to click it again. For mine, it's not. So I'm going to save it. You want to save that to the desktop. So it'll be easier to access this video. I'm just, hit, I'm just gonna hit uh, get video. Now I just have to wait for this to download. It might take a while, but uh, not long. But anyway, you're gonna need uh, FLV player for this. It's not a very big F file at all. I just wanna go to Google, type in FLV player, and you can just download it off there. It's just kind of like real player, but for FLV files, flash, uh, pretty much the flash files, and lots of uh, YouTube videos. That's what YouTube videos are made of, and it's really uh, simple just to download it that way. So, just I'm sure it's almost done. Twenty-three percent. Yeah. Anyway, but and there's TechCrunch, and I was saying there's other files like keepvid.com. I'm just gonna Google search that. And as you can see, YouTube tools, all that stuff, lots of stuff. You can just, whatever works best for you, I just like that one because uh, it's one I commonly use. And you can even rip the WAV file, and just have the video, no audio, and put it on your iPod. But please don't use this for uh, sharing or op don't op open source on like putting it on LimeWire or anything because then you're breaking uh, conduct of YouTube and stuff. And that's legal because you're not you're using the video without permission so just keep it personal use don't be downloading copyright stuff like any episodes of any show whatever it is or you know you can download videos if you want from like your favorite youtuber or tutorials like i do and just put them on your ipod and like i listen to them like because i have a uh the new ipod shuffle the little mini one so yeah but anyway if you have a video ipod or whatever you have you can also watch the video directly from YouTube just like having it on having YouTube on your phone just add your videos and if you want to take the wave and everything you're gonna want to have a uh, one media coder and that's a, it's, uh, it's in between it's not really big not really small but it changes your file extensions for you just drag it and then pick uh, sorry about that check the type of file extension you want okay and there's my video and then it should change it but I'm just gonna real quick show you how to do, uh, do this okay you want to type in oh sorry not properties okay you want to go to rename and at the end put dot flv and that, these are more for video iPods I'm not using a video iPod this my flv player open it and wait for it to open <laughs> Excuse me, but uh, as I was saying, you're gonna need virtual dub and etc. If you're gonna want this in media coder to get the WAV files and everything, just drop it in, and there's your video. You can save it and just watch it at your own. You can even go frame by frame by frame. This is way easier, and then you can just skip right ahead. But it's gonna take a while. If it's one of those big files, and you can just, you know, it's your own. You can put it on your. Uh, video iPod or whatever. And how you do that is if you have Virtual Dub uh, program for videos, it lets you edit videos, etc. You can just save the. It lets you save the wave using these flag markers wherever you want the audio to stop and end is what you'll save. But you're gonna need to transfer this into a AVI file in order to do that. I don't think it'll let you just rename it to an AVI. Let me try AVI. If you want to change it, see, it won't let you redo that. So you're gonna wanna. 
or maybe because I have this out to see. So, oh, get underscore video dot avi. Yes, and now it's an avi. Now let's see if I can drag it into virtual dev. See, it won't detect that, so you're gonna wanna manually just wanna use media coder to change that into an AVI file. From or whatever you want to change it into. And then for FLV player, that's what all you gotta do. It's pretty simple. Um just type in FLV player download on Google and uh you're on your way. If you're watching videos that at your own pace, your own speed, whatever you wanna do. Put it on your iPod, and uh, that's all. I'll provide links in the video description. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe and comment and rate on my videos. And thanks for watching.